Good morning. I have not done a video in a while, especially one like this, but this weekend is kind of a special weekend. <clears throat> I'm going to document something for a friend of mine. We are in California at San Pedro and tonight we are going to be picked up at 7 p.m. at the dock. We're gonna take a boat out to Catalina Island about 21 miles offshore. And then my swimmer uh, friend who I'm traveling with, Seth Batesold, is going to be swimming from the island back to the mainland tonight, mostly through the night. So I met Seth th uh, two, I think two years ago. Uh, I manage uh, an ice hole in Minnesota where we cut a hole in the ice and people go in it every day. Uh, we do a group one, a group dip on Sundays. And this guy started showing up and I'm like, who's this guy? And uh, you know, he looked like he had a swimmer's build. I was training for triathlons, kind of motioning more into marathon swimming myself. And um, really didn't talk with him much. The next the next spring, I think we were, uh, we, I, I got to know that he was a swimmer. I didn't know to what extent. And when I, uh, next the following spring, entered a, uh, a short swim, it was a 1.2 miler, he was there. And that's when I really got to know him and his uh, swimming history and capabilities. So uh, from what I know, I know quite a bit about his swims. I swim with him when I can. Um, he's way faster than I am. So when I swim with him, if uh, he's usually, you know, wait, let me catch up, swim, wait. Otherwise I'll bring fins because um, he's really fast. He's faster than me if I got fins going all out and I'm not, I'm not a slouch either, but. So anyways, uh, Seth has done many, many uh, long distance swims. He has done the end wet swim which is a 36 miler in the Red River um, between Minnesota and North Dakota. Um, so he's done that five times this last year, he won it. He has swam a 24 mile stretch in the <coughs> St. Croix River. He has swam um, Go to the Moon Marathon Swim in Michigan. He has done um, the swim around Charleston before, I think in 21. Uh, I'm doing one marathon swim a year and that's the one I selected. So that's in October and he's actually gonna go out and do that one again. Uh, that's a 20K. He has swam um, a course off the coast of Tampa. That was, I think a fort, 14 or 24 miler. Um, he swam the true length of Lake Tahoe last year. That was 20 miles. And um, he has the seventh fastest time on record for that swim. Oh, what else has he done? Um, last weekend, he did the Lake Minnetonka 10 mile around our place and he got second in that. Any small stuff, he's coming in the top five for sure. So he won the mile at Masters Nationals Open Water Swim at Square Lake. Um, he also did the 5K and I think he came in like fifth or sixth overall on that. And there, I mean, there's 32 different states being represented with these swimmers at those things. So it ain't just the local people, it's people traveling that have been involved in you know, nationals and represented, you know, each other's countries and things. So anyways, he's in strong company there. So anyways, there's other ones he's done that I just, I don't know. He's only 29. So he has some pretty big aspirations of, of doing swims like this for the foreseeable future. And the great thing about swimming is you can do that in distance. Um, just a little, little tidbit about me. It's this one, this video ain't about me. It's, it's about Seth, but just to know who I, you know, who I am, um, not just some guy coming out of the, you know, woodworks, you know, me mostly from doing, uh, you know, landscape, how to DIY videos. Uh, that's my main industry, but I started doing triathlon and marathon swimming mostly in 
2019. And I set a goal to do one marathon swim race a year for 20 years between the ages of, um, of what was it? My first one was 40, I was 47. So 47 to 67 is my goal to do something at least 10K or longer as a race and then just train. So I'm, I'm doing, right now I'm amping up a little bit on my yardage, so I'm doing about um, 12 to 20,000 yards a week. Uh, this week was um, about 12, previous week was 18. Just got to swim in the ocean a couple times, which was nice here. Um, Seth is doing about triple my, my uh, yardage, so He's, it's not normal you come across people that swim quite this much. He is swims daily, so seven days a week, and he is doing around 30,000 yards uh, per week on average, maybe like 28,000. So, uh, he, yeah, he swims a lot. Uh, to amateurize that over the course of year to date. Year to date, I am at like 235,000 yards. Seth is over 900,000 yards. So uh, that's a lot of swimming. But the thing about swimming is the more you do it, the, um, the stronger you build up your endurance. So it's not really a tired thing. You can swim every day. Um, after his 10 mile, he could have probably swam another 10 mile the next day. Uh, you know, so I need a little bit of recovery. Uh, I'm 50, so you know, after I swam around Key West, that was a 20K, my shoulders were sore for yeah, I don't know, a day, two days for sure. But, um, you know, that's where technique is important, right? So uh, there's going to be eight of us supporting. Another friend of his flew in from Oregon, uh, Brandon. He's going to be on the boat. I'm going to be on the boat observing, counting strokes, um, you know, watching his well-being. I will, I'll be the one on the boat for sure that has seen him swim, you know, the most or most recently too. So I definitely know his swim style. He has a very high stroke rate. So that means, you know, stroke rate is measured in uh, minutes per minute. My stroke rate is about 27 to 32. So every minute I'm, I'm you know, 27 or 32 times. So like every other second, Seth's stroke rate is between 70 and mid 80s. So he is stroking two and a half times as fast as me on my arm. So I get to, I glide more, but he definitely propels more because of his arm swing. So it seems um, quite un, unbelievable that somebody can keep that strength, uh, stroke rate up, but he does. He uh, when he did Tahoe, yeah, his stroke rate was in I think the high 70s. So he, he will, you know, more than likely be able to sustain that for this uh, channel swim. Uh, I'll be watching, I, again, I know what his stroke looks like. So I'll have, you know, I'll be taking video and, um, you know, counting, physically counting. I have batteries for my camera, you know, and, and watch uh, to do this kind of stuff. I'll track my, I'll track the course on my Garmin with uh, my probably my Strava on my phone plus my Garmin watch. I'll probably just set it to kayak. Um, we wanna know, he, I wanna give him updates on his times as he wants. I have not done this before, so I'm not sure the communication. You know, he's gonna be pretty close to our boat and a personal kayaker that's gonna be with him uh, 10 feet away the entire time. So uh, I'll, you know, I'm gonna like more of an on-call emergency kayaker in case something happens, but I don't have any experience in doing this open sea type of stuff. Sure, I've been in the kayaks, but it's a whole different ball game, especially when the 90% 90, 90 of the swimmer more is gonna be at night. So there, there may or may not be a chance for me to jump in, you know, towards the end of his swim, just to kind of uh, help, help not pace him, but, you know, swim next to him for a little bit if he wants. I'm not trying to steal any of his thunder by any means, but um, I guess some people do that. I really hadn't heard about it, but he mentioned it yesterday. So uh, that's that's beside the point, but I'll be ready if, if that's an opportunity. Um, for me, I got really used to the uh, the overcoming the fears of open water swim. Uh, I have had 
bad experiences in my past. I had, uh, you know, I had to be saved from a lifeguard at a local pool when I put my sister on my shoulders and I was at the diving portion right where that meets the regular flat and I started to fall into that deep area and it, I panicked and the lifeguards had to jump in for me. Um, and that got me scared of swimming for, for many years. Uh, I did end up getting back into it. I knew my strokes from you know younger years, but mostly self-taught since more like 2016. I started racing in 2019. So, uh, so yeah, I'm not sure where I was going with that one, but anyways, we're at, we're at the morning of his swim. I'm actually waiting for a uh, a person on Marketplace to deliver some binoculars. Uh, last night I was like, damn, I forgot my binoculars. And not that I don't need them for him necessarily, but if I want to get close up and watch his face for any reasons, um, I can do that or watch out for other things. And this person said, yeah, uh, I have it available. And I was like, well, it was like a $30 Uber ride one way. And they said they deliver for five bucks. So anyways, I'm waiting for them. They're coming anytime now. So I just wanted to give a little intro, maybe see if we can edit this up a little bit. But <clears throat> again, I'm out here supporting Seth. He is um, already a, a world renowned marathon swimmer. You can look him up in the long, dis long distance database uh, for swimmers. Any All the marathon long timers are in that. He already has quite a uh, credential list going on, and he has uh, no no signs of slowing. You know, this year he will have done probably seven marathon races uh, of 10K or longer. Um, you know, he's always talking about doing long stuff. He signed up to do English Channel next year uh, on our walk back from lunch yesterday we were talking about a hundred miler and he's he's game for for all that stuff if he wants or if it's more of an affordability thing so it'd be interesting to see uh, uh the possibility of setting up some kind of sponsorship or or whatever to help fund this stuff because this this specific swim right here is about a seven thousand dollar swim uh the boat's four thousand and then there's support costs you know and, you know, getting here, Airbnb, so um, it's it's expensive. Your English channels even more so. All these marathon swims are destination swims. My Key West swim was like over five thousand dollars too. It's so expensive to stay down there. So, um, so yeah, we are uh, we're here to do that. I'm gonna try to capture uh, a lot of this, put make it into a nice little video. Maybe get some help, some editing. I'm not really strong at that, but I will catch back up and uh, you'll meet Seth real soon.